An important relationship with functions is this thing called the difference quotient. We're going to use this relationship a lot in our calculus class. The difference quotient is when we take a function at x plus h and subtract the function by itself and put the whole thing over h. As we simplify it, our goal is generally going to be to reduce out the h. Let's take a look at some examples. Let's say we have the function f of x equals 4x minus 5. First thing I notice is the difference quotient has this expression f of x plus h. So let's look at what that part would look like. Just the f of x plus h is going to replace the x with the input of x plus h. So we have 4 times x plus h minus 5. Putting that into our definition for the difference quotient, we take the f of x plus h, which is the 4 times x plus h minus 5, and then we subtract the entire function. And an important step here to not miss is that subtraction has to go into parentheses as we put it all over h. Now I'm going to distribute the 4. And I'm also going to distribute the negative, which gives me 4x plus 4h minus 5 minus 4x plus 5, because I'm distributing the negative all the way through, all over h. As I reduce that, 4x minus 4x reduces to 0. And negative 5 plus 5 reduces to 0. So I'm just left with 4h over h. And then we can accomplish our goal, which is to reduce out the h, leaving behind just 4. This difference quotient simplified to a nice number 4. That doesn't always happen, though. Let's try another example. Let's try the function f of x equals x squared minus 2x. Again, we'll first find what f of x plus h is, where I replace each of the x's with an x plus h. So we have x plus h squared minus 2 times x plus h. Now we're ready to plug into our difference quotient formula, which takes the f of x plus h, which we just found out is x plus h squared minus 2 times x plus h. And then I subtract the function, making sure I put the function in parentheses of x squared minus 2x. And then we put the whole thing over h. Squaring the first term, we get x squared plus, remember we have to multiply x times h together and then double it to get 2xh, plus h squared. Distributing the negative 2 through, we get negative 2x minus 2h. Distributing the negative through, we'll change both signs, giving us negative x squared plus 2x all over h. Looking for like terms in the numerator, we've got an x squared and a negative x squared. Those go to 0. I've got a negative 2x and a positive 2x. Those go to 0. So what I'm left with is 2xh plus h squared minus 2h all over h. But remember, we're only allowed to reduce if we first factor the expression. So I can't reduce out the h unless I first factor an h out of each term, leaving behind 2x plus h minus 2 all over h. Now I can reduce out the h. That's always our goal, which leaves us with 2x plus h minus 2 for our final difference quotient. We've taken a review of functions and what we did with them in pre-calculus. It's your turn to practice these on the assignment.